This is Dabu 7. Trump has signed yet another executive order, this one just yesterday. In this one, he is establishing U.S. policy on the exploitation of off-Earth resources. Now, this policy stresses that the current regulatory regime, notably the 1967 Outer Space Treaty, allows the use of such resources. Others, other countries, are not liking this in this rhetoric, and those like Russia and China, they're stepping up their game rather quickly in saying that they have missions as well that are going to continue, and they're not going to go to the international board. Now, here's the thing. A lot of these countries were asked to sign some stuff back in 1979, the Moon Treaty which stipulates that non-scientific use of space resources be governed by an international regulatory framework. Bunch of them said, nope, not doing it. So in 2015, Congress passed a law saying that we could do this. The companies and citizens could use the moon in resources. This executive order, they say, just emboldens it, puts it out there through and through, and says, here it is, we're, we're moving forward. Now, this executive order is called Encouraging International Support for the Recovery and Use of Space Resources. It's been in the works for about a year, they say. And they say that in this instance, this is going to help the Artemis program. If you don't know what Artemis is, Artemis is their new lunar plan. They want to have people on the moon, two astronauts, by 2024. So we can sit here and talk about the other, the old moon landings, fake, not fake, all that stuff. But really, we've got another one coming up in 2024. And with today's technology, today's cameras and telescopes, we should be able to watch this thing, leave Earth, and go all the way to the moon and land. If it's going to be on the front side, which it should be, unless they want to skip around to the back and land on the dark side where China's been landing. And to see what's going on there. Regardless, China has a rover on the moon. They're trying to set up a base on the far side. And they've been making moves. Now, the United States making another move itself with this executive order. Make sure to join us over here on DLive. I'll expand on this whole thing on the next live stream. We're live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you guys over there. Links below in the description box.